Today's project, we are going to make a cute little cookie jar. So stay tuned and see how to do it. All right, for the cookie jar, first let's look at what we, what parts we need. We're going to use these little wooden parts from the craft store. This is a one-inch candle cup with a half-inch hole, and I think they came five to a package. This is called a button plug. It's a half-inch button plug, so it fits right in the top. And this is just a little tiny wooden bead. I'm using a square one this time. You can use round. You can use whatever shape you want as long as it looks like it's about the right scale to what we're doing. So I, first thing I did was I took those parts and I put them in a box lid and I took them outside and I spray painted them with white primer. It's really important to use white primer paint on this because these little pieces sometimes have a finish on them and your paint doesn't like to stick to them as well without the primer. All right, so let's glue these together. We are going to use two types of glue. We're going to use Zappa Gap, which is a super glue, and just put a dot right on the top of your painted lid. And then I've got just a little bit of fast grab tacky here. What I like to do is hold this in my hand and dip the bottom down in the fast grab tacky and then stick it right on top of that super glue. And sometimes we need the tool, sometimes we don't. This time I didn't need the tool, sometimes you do to push it over onto the glue. And then just set that aside so the glue can dry. Next, we'll be painting these. Since it's already primed, we just need to use simple craft paint. And I'm doing several different ones of these, so different ones are going to be different colors. This one I need to paint the cookie jar itself in black. I know, that's going to be dramatic. I find the best way for me to paint these is to stick my finger, stick it onto my little finger, and then use a brush and paint. and just work with it and coat it all the way around and down into the rim. If you're doing it in white, you do the same thing with white paint. Now, for the lid, this lid needs to be green. Make, like I said, I'm making a whole bunch of these. They're different colors, they're different themes. I have different ones I'm making for different people. So, I hold on to the, to the base, to the part that goes into the jar, and I don't put any more paint down in here now. And I use a brush and I paint just the top. And you will need to make a couple of coats of paint. One coat of paint probably will not cover sufficiently. This is going to be a multiple coats of paint job. And I find it's much easier to put this down and use my little pointy tool to stand it back up. Let those dry. When they're all the way dry, you can go on to the next step. We'll do the next step on this blue and white one. Oh, I also, on some of them, I dip them into the color, whatever color I was using for the lid. I put a pool of paint out on my surface and I just dipped them into that and then wiped it with a uh, toothpick to make sure it was flat. It just makes a little more color so that they aren't so plain on the bottom. Now the designs, I'm just using little tiny stickers. And I think on this one I'm going to put, I've got some stars. I'm just going to put one star sticker on here to stick it down. This one, I had a strawberry. This one, I had a cherry. I've got others. I've got a rose one that I still need to put the sticker on. And when that's done, then there's only one more step. This is a quick project. Like I said, after that, stickers on. Use a high gloss spray sealer. Now I used a spray version of triple thick and it's going to take multiple coats what you want to do is your number one you're sealing your sticker down tight to make it permanent and you're making your wood look like ceramic and that's all there is to it 
you've got a cute little cookie jar to set on the counter in your dollhouse. So have fun with this quick project, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.